Well, and we back. Coming off, hopefully, what will be the worst game of the season. We lost 48-17. to 17. We couldn't do anything to the Panthers. They did everything to us. It was um, actually rather degrading. Um, we got the Chiefs this week, so we're probably going to get our pants pulled down once again. But, um, yeah, who cares? We're just going to do it and see what happens. I already went through the weekly strategy and whatnot. We don't have any injuries. We're completely healthy. We're going to get right into this game. Hardly any intro. Let's play football. Traveling to Arrowhead Stadium for the first time here in Buccaneers franchise to take on 99 overall Patrick Mahomes, who's starting off this season hot. 362 yards, four tutties, and no interceptions. Compared to Zach Wilson, who, um... You know, he might as well have done the opposite in week one. But we are going to turn it around here today. Our offense is going to play better. We're going to look more in sync, I think. Like five white boys. Shout out Jack Harlow. Five white boys will be not in sync. Oh. I don't even know, man. I'm trying to do more professional commentary, and yet this is how I'm starting the day. Let's play. We will see Patrick Mahomes for the first time today, and we already saw his numbers. We'll take another peek at him. Four touchdowns to no interceptions, 34 of 43 passing. I mean, his QBR had to be a 140-something. This is just an insane day throwing the ball, and we're going to have to find a way to slow him down today. Before we go any further, let's take a look at the Chiefs' offense. Obviously, they have Patrick Mahomes, Isaiah Pacheco at running back, also have Tyrion Davis-Price and Trey Farley, a rookie. Um, only 89 speed. I'm going to assume he's more of a power back. Not going to go too deep into it though wide receiver they have Rasheed Rice Sky Moore and Justin Ross and you know not a great receiving core which has kind of been the issue ever since Tyreek Hill left but Travis Kelsey still exists and he's still very good the offensive line is very good except for the left tackle so if we're gonna get any pressure here today it's going to be um against the Chiefs left tackle and that might be where we look to target that left side of the offensive line. We will actually do that on the first play of the game. Dialing up a blitz on first down. Mahomes back to pass. Over the middle, there's Travis Kelsey. Already with 22 yards on just one play. Is anybody shocked as he does a little dance move? Thinking we might need to send a little bit more heat this week. You know, we, um, we didn't really get much pressure on Bryce Young, especially in the second half of that game last week. There's... Really good coverage there by Jamel Dean on Justin Ross, but has completed for 12 yards either way. But, yeah, like I said, we didn't get hardly any pressure on Bryce Young a week ago. So this week our focal point on defense needs to be getting a pass rush. There's the first run play for Isaiah Pacheco going absolutely nowhere. Devin White able to get through a block and stuff him. Now I'm going to trust man coverage sometimes, and I think Antoine Winfield versus Travis Kelsey, it's, I'm not going to call it a favorable matchup at all, obviously. But it's a matchup we have a chance in. I should never speak again. I will simply never say words ever again because apparently I am just incorrect. Mahomes has his X Factor activated. Cervasier Dennis gets beat out in the flat. He's, you know, not really his game. He's a pass rusher. That's what we use him for. Rasheed Rice is in the end zone. Quick drive for the Chiefs. They're up 7-0. And that's where we'll see Zach Wilson take a quick look at his numbers after the first game of the year. They were, you know, like I said, not very good. 19 of 36, 320 yards, a touchdown, and two interceptions. And, uh, you know, the offense just didn't look like it was flowing at all. We didn't really have any run game whatsoever. And it just really nothing about it was a good game. We're going to see if we can change that around this week. We start our own 28-yard line. First play is a handoff of Rashad White, and he finds a bit of space and picks up a gain of seven. Maybe we need to see a little bit more of Rashad. If they're going to bring two guys up on a blitz, I, I have to just get something quick over the middle. There's Russell Gage, first down, five yards. They brought both their safeties up and sent a blitz. Um, there was no way I was going to try to run against that. That would have been not ideal. But, um, yeah, I really have no idea what I'm looking for this week. I just need the um, the offense to operate a little smoother. There's another catch. Only three yards. I threw it way too late for Chris Godwin. But we'll take the yardage nonetheless. Second down and seven. We'll see a handoff for Rashad White once again. And he finds space again, this time picking up about seven or eight. And a first down for the Buccaneers. 
Strong start so far for the offense. Cordero Patterson enters the game for the first time. But this pass goes quickly underneath for Kier Palmer, and he picks up five. Kier Palmer, the seventh overall pick here in this draft, along with Cal Baker also in the first round. And the Buccaneers are hoping that those two can help turn around this offense even more and make them operate even smoother. As here's a fake for Rashad White and Zach Wilson gets absolutely spine bustered by Nick Bolton. Wow, what a tackle. And before this third down play, we will take a look at the Chiefs defense. They got George Karlaftis at left end. Right end is Felix Anudike Uz Uzoma. I hope I'm saying that right. Chris Jones, the great at D tackle, along with Markel Hall, the rookie. Um, let's take a look at him real quick. 72 speed, 92 strength. So, you know, you like that athletically out of him. And we will take a look at his um, technical ability here. Very good power moves. He can rush the passer a little bit. Um, yeah, I um, I enjoy that a lot. Left outside linebacker, Tyus Bowser. Middle linebacker, Nick Bolton. And Nazir Allen, someone I considered drafting as 88 speed. Looks like he could be very, very good. They probably they picked him in the first round, if I were to guess. Take a look at his um, technical ability as well. Uh, good hit power, good tackling, um, not much of a pass rusher, decent block shedders. He's a run stopper through and through with some decent zone coverage as well. This is a really, really solid player here. I think Nazir Allen's going to be very good. Right outside linebacker, Yatur Gross Matos. Cornerback, Trent McDuffie, but Trent McDuffie's injured, so we might not see much of him. Legereus Sneed as well, and Jalen Watson. Free safety is Justin Reed. Strong safety is Terrell Edmonds. So by no means is this the best defense we will play all year, but you know what? They are, say, very okay. Here's another pass over the middle caught by Kier Palmer. Wilson, four for four for just 19 yards, but you know what? It's efficient, it's working, it's getting us down the field. I think maybe we need to make more safe passes this week. I think Starting earlier in the game, oh, wait, Rashad White has space. I didn't know which way I should cut there, but Rashad White has three carries for 26 yards. First and 10 from the 25. We fake it to Rashad White, and Zach Wilson back to pass, throwing deep for Lawrence Cager. I don't know what that throw was. Very underthrown. I was expecting it to be led down the field a little more. Uh, I didn't really like anything about that. Makes it second and ten. Defense spread out here a little bit by the Buccaneers offense. And the handoff goes to Rashad White. Rashad White to the outside. Big gain, 17 yards up to the six-yard line. And he may already have more rushing yards this week on four carries than he did last week as a whole. As last week was not the best week running the football for us. Cordell Patterson enters the game now, though. And Patterson, you know. Had a one-on-one -on -one opportunity in the end zone. Was going to try to get it to him, but the pressure just got there too quick. Safety creeping up on the left side of your screen. Wilson going to roll out to his right, away from the safety. And the pass is off the mark for Chris Godwin. As suddenly in the red zone, we are unable to find anyone open. You got a 6-4 big... You got a 6'4", big receiver on the outside. Let's throw it up to him. Give him a chance. It's knocked away. Probably one of the best options we had there. Uh, we couldn't find anyone open on the first two plays. So trying to get the ball up there to our big 6'4 rookie, Kier Palmer, felt like the right choice. Unfortunately, did not work out for us. We'll take three points. Patrick Mahomes back on the field, fresh off throwing his fifth touchdown pass of the year. Did he throw a touchdown pass in the first drive? I already don't know, actually. I, um, I actually already have no idea. I completely forgot what happened on the first drive. All I know is they scored a touchdown. Uh, first and 10 is a fake to Isaiah Pacheco pass over the middle. That's caught by Travis Kelsey. And Kelsey, two catches and about, no, three catches already, almost 70 yards. We're in the first quarter here, ladies and gentlemen. He's got almost 70 yards. Um, Patrick Mahomes is in the zone. We need to force a, at least, at the very least, we need to force an incompletion. This one is underneath for Isaiah Pacheco, who spins out a defender and then ends up picking up 11 yards. I got to stop going for hit sticks. I mean, we can't guard anyone. There's a there's a true problem with our team if we can't defend Rasheed Rice. Not that Rasheed Rice is bad, but 
I mean, we got two mid-80 overall corners that are very, very good that so far this season have barely been able to defend anyone. There's a nice play by Devin White. One of the first plays that we've made in the passing game all year. My God. I would like to be able to play man coverage sometimes. I think we have the personnel to do it. Um, we're just not doing it very well. There we go. Kenneth Murray with some of the best man coverage that we've played so far in these first two drives. Only giving up four yards. We need to try to generate some pressure on Patrick Mahomes. Really, that's what we got to do. Um, and as I speak, there's the pressure. Kalijah can't see with his first sack of the year. His rookie season was very limited. He spent a lot of time injured. I think he really only played in six or seven games. But second game of the season here going up against Patrick Mahomes, and he's able to get a sack. I need to take a look at the replay again just to see what kind of move he put on the right tackle here. Oh, no, they just didn't block him. The right tackle goes inside the double team Vita Vea. And Travis Kelsey started his release a little bit too early. Barely even touched Kalijah Kansi, and that's a free sack for him. Beautiful. 51-yard attempt. You would expect uh, Harrison Bucker to put this through, and he will right down the middle. Makes it 10-3 Chiefs. Big drive by the defense. But you know what? We got to see Zach Wilson once again, and he had a rather efficient first drive until it stalled, which, you know, it stinks, but it happens. Um... First and 10 from the 19 is not ideal field position, but Wilson rolled out to his right pass. Dropped by Kier Palmer. You expect him to make that play. Um, has pretty sure hands as a rookie, but that time just wasn't able to hold on. Let me get second and 10. And this pass will go outside quickly to Cordero Patterson, who is not going to find much room at all. Maybe a gain of two. Five of 10 for just 21 yards for Zach Wilson. This defense doing what they got to do so far. Six seconds remaining before the end of this first quarter. Are we going to run a play? Um, yes, we will get the play off just in time. Pass underneath. Caught by Russell Gage, who fights forward and picks up a first down. That takes us to the end of the first quarter. Chiefs up 10-3, to passing all over us. Only ran the ball once, but you know what? They haven't had to run. They can legitimately pass the ball on every single down and do just fine. So I do not blame them for what they've done so far. We got a first and 10 here for Zach Wilson now. And this pass is going to be just terribly off the mark. It's, uh, did I wait too long to throw it? Yes, but I was trying to see what we had on the outside. Um, and it was, it was a terrible throw. It wasn't even close. You got to be able to hit that. Even if you're under pressure, that's a three-yard throw. You got to hit that pass. That makes it second and 10. Hand off to Rashad White. You're hoping for a better block there from Cody Mock. Uh, but either way, third and six, very manageable. Let's see what we can do here. Third down and six. Wilson back to pass once again. Wilson launching it deep downfield. Hit as he throws, unable to get much on it. There is a flag on the play. And it's a hold on the offense. This will likely be a decline. Tristan Wirfs is the guilty man, and we will punt this one away. Well, at the very least, we make... Patrick Mahomes have to go 84 yards this possession in order to score a touchdown. Um, defense was able to come up with a stop last time. So hopefully we can get a little repeat of that. It's first and 10 from the 16. Mahomes back to pass again, going over the middle of the field, and it's caught by Sky Moore. We can't defend anything. 15 yard play, or no, 17 yard play on first down. And this one's over the middle, caught by Sky Moore once again. It doesn't, it, it's, I don't know what's going on with our defense to start this season, but it doesn't matter what we run. I said it all last video, all last video. Man, doesn't matter. Zone doesn't matter. We cannot do anything defensively. And I get it. This is the Chiefs. This is Patrick Mahomes. But, oh, my God, their receivers are not that good. Sky Moore and Rasheed Rice are not that good. Travis Kelsey, he's great. We all know that. He's fantastic at the sport of football. But the rest of them, we should be able to get a hand on them and cover them downfield a little bit. Like, my God. There we go. Big play. Christian Fulton. Don't believe we saw a lot of him back in week one, but he makes a play here. And if we can hold them to like four or five yards or less on this play, then potentially they are out of field goal range. But we got to do it before we can say anything. 
Patrick Mahomes under pressure, taken down. Sack for Logan Hall. Not the name I was going to expect to call there. I was really hoping it would have been Stevie Long. But no, it is Logan Hall getting back there. And for the first time, I don't think we ever made the Panthers punt last week. So for the first time, we'll get a good look at Tremaine Bonds. Nope, it's going to be kicked out of bounds. Maybe we need to get this guy involved more. He's averaging 10 yards per carry on his first five runs. Let's just, let's try that maybe. But I don't like the way they have the box stacked right here. Like, I feel like, I feel like it's just not a good idea to run against this. And Hello? It feels like it's not a good idea to run against this. And, you know, let's just throw it to him real quick. Let's get him the ball anyways. I mean, 7 of 14 for 32 yards. There's, I don't know what's going on here. I, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just throwing the ball quicker than I need to. But it feels like there's never anything open. Um, we'll see what happens here. Second and eight, fake to Rashad White. And I'm going to try to float this over Nick Bolton's head. I don't understand what happened to Chris Godwin in that play. Like, I am waiting for Chris Godwin to run his route to the inside. Where are you going? That's not your route. That is absolutely not your route. You're, you're supposed to be running a crosser over the middle of the field. And you cut it to the out. Are you serious? Is that, is that a momentum thing? Is there a momentum thing that makes your players run the wrong route? Like, is that a real thing? Come on, man. Now it's third and eight. Going to be under pressure. Getting rid of it quickly. Russell Gage has room to run after the catch. Russell Gage down the field. Makes a man miss. He's up near midfield. Biggest play so far for the offense. First and ten from the 46-yard line now. It's a fake to Rashad White, and it doesn't matter. Zach Wilson's injured again. He's injured again. What, what happened? He didn't get injured once all last season. Gets tackled twice this year, and suddenly he's injured twice. The Red Rocket, Andy Dalton, into the game again, second week in a row, and he's going to find Kier Palmer over the middle for a gain of 11. And he has a bruised sternum. So we're playing this game with Andy Dalton, I guess. I'm so annoyed, dude. Like, whatever. Third down and three. I can't even, like, make audibles half the time. It's got to be... Something with the Chiefs' momentum. Cordero Patterson takes his first carry of the game up to the 39-yard line, a gain of eight. There we go. The running game is working a little bit. We will see. Oh, God. Rashad White. You know what? I'm happy you got a yard there because they sent the house. They sent everyone. I think it's second and nine from the 39. Dalton back to pass again. And Dalton floating deep to the end zone for Kier Palmer. Just barely overthrows him. Palmer had a step. And Watson trying to get in his face as if he really did anything there. No, it was an overthrow, you idiot. Third down and nine. Dalton back to pass again. And Dalton going to float it to the outside for Chris Godwin. And Godwin able to make the catch. Godwin to the six-yard line to call it the seven. 32 yards for Godwin. First and goal from the seven. Dalton back to pass. High ball. End zone. Knocked away from Palmer. We're trying it, man. We are. I think these are passes we can complete. Especially with our big six foot four rookie. Second and goal from the seven. Handoff. Cordero Patterson up the middle, untouched. And the Bucks are gonna tie this game at 10. A couple stops on defense, and suddenly we have a 10 to 10 ball game. Patrick Mahomes has been taken down for a couple sacks now. You know, that's really what we need. It's something that we lacked tremendously last season was a pass rush. So if we can start to get one this season, that'll change our defense around a lot. We also need to make sure we can defend the run. We need to get eight yards on first down there. I'll make it second and two after the eight-yard gain by Pacheco. And Mahomes back to pass again. He finds Rasheed Rice for another catch. And this time, another injury. Servassier Dennis down on a knee. Doesn't look like it's too serious, hopefully. Um, Servassier has been one of my favorite players in this franchise so far, so I'd really, really appreciate it if he wasn't too hurt. Um, got another handoff for Pacheco on this play, and there's Devin White making a tackle. And another injury, this time Trey Smith down as everyone's going back to the locker room. Joe Tryon Choinka checks in as a rush end now, and this one is caught over the middle. There's Rasheed Rice with yet another one. 
Patrick Mahomes, 13 of 15, 189 yards and a touchdown. Broken collarbone for Servassier, Dennis. Not how you ever want to start your second season, you know, especially after a super successful rookie year. Uh, that's that's super unfortunate. You really hate to see it. Um, here's another handoff for Pacheco, and he runs right into Via Vea. Via Vea. I forgot, I forgot the T for some reason, but Vita Vea stuffs him. Going to have to look for other guys to generate pressure here today. Need to see more from Vita Vea up the middle. Need to see more from Kalijah Kansi as well. As Kansi, you know, like I said, had a very okay rookie season, but we need to see him take a step up. It's third and three. Let's make a play right here. And we will. Christian Fulton once again, this time one-on-one -on -one against Travis Kelsey. And Fulton comes out on top, making it fourth and three. And it's looking like the Chiefs may line up to go for it, and they will. Fourth down and three. Mahomes back to pass again, looking for somebody open, going to the corner, and it is not a catch. It is a catch. I'm not sure. It's not a catch. Rasheed White unable to get his feet in bounds. We will get a review, though. I do want to see the replay here, as I could not tell if he got his feet in or not. He got one foot in and another one out of bounds, so this should be our ball. Oh, I'm sorry. You're calling that a catch? Where? Where is that a catch? One foot was in bounds. Okay, 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 okay. Catches the ball. His right foot's in. In what world is there two feet in bounds here? Are you kidding me? That That is an awful call. That is the type of call that if it happened in real life, you would question if this game was fixed. Because that is atrocious. There's not even close to two feet down there. And now we have to keep playing defense. And we're going to give up points. There's no doubt we're giving up a fucking touchdown now. After a play like that, there's no doubt in my mind. Yeah, there's there, there was no doubt that was going to happen. They shouldn't even have still been on the field. God damn it. All right, there's just no reason the Chiefs should have even still been on the field there. We had a little over a minute to put something together to end the half, starting with a screen to Rashad White. And Rashad White's got room for days. Rashad White up near midfield. Huge gain of 26 on first down. I mean, oh, do oh, Kier Palmer with a catch, apparently. Oh, my God. So, first of all, bad throw by Andy Dalton. Tried to get a diving catch from, is that Justin Reed there? Bounces off of 51. I don't know who 51 is off the top of my head. And Kier Palmer, right place, right time. Able to come down with it. 26 seconds remaining in the half. And you know what? We're going to try it. Palmer, end zone, one-on-one. -on -one. He has not been able to win one of these yet. Getting a ton of targets down in the red zone, or in the end zone, really. Um, just unable to get a win against these Kansas City um, cornerbacks, and, or defensive backs, I should say. But we will keep trying, of course, and we'll just have another terrible throw there. You know, at the very least, as long as we don't fuck up crazy, we have points here. We, um... We uh, will be happy with that. Almost fucked up crazy. So after one half of play, we are down 17 to 13. Um, Zach Wilson is injured once again. So maybe we will have to put more of our focus, more of our time into the rushing attack here in the second half with Andy Dalton being our starting quarterback. Patrick Mahomes is kind of doing whatever he wants, but at the same time, we've been able to get a few sacks. And that's really helped us a lot um, at slowing down this Chiefs offense. You know, if you're able to take them down for a couple sacks, then you completely derail what they want to do. We've been able to do that on a couple drives so far. Cordero Patterson here to return another kick, and he catches it at about his own one, gets out to the 27, not bad. The Red Rocket out on the field once again. Um, the only thing that stinks about Andy Dalton being our quarterback is it takes away a big aspect of our game, and that is the quarterback run. 
You know, we love running our read option plays. Our, you know, we love getting outside the pocket with Zach Wilson. Um, so not being able to do that with Andy Dalton definitely stinks. But, um, you know, we got to do what we got to do. We will make do with what we... That's not your route. That is not your fucking route, Kier. Like, what is my team doing? Do we just... How do we forget what the routes are? What stops you from running the route? You're supposed to cut in. Cut in right now. That's your route. That's why I'm throwing the ball. If anything, actually, look, look, look. Okay, so it's left, up. Should be cutting in probably right here. That's probably why I'm throwing the ball because you should be cutting in already. Oh, my God. I try to avoid showing play art most of the time because obviously it's not realistic. When do you ever see play art on the football field? I don't know. You, you, well, you don't. You never see play art because obviously no one. Chris Godwin's injured. So I, I upped the injury slider to 20, and, and now everyone's getting injured. Last season, nobody got injured. This season, we don't have Zach Wilson. Cervosier Dennis is down. Now Chris Godwin's down. Just run the ball. First and 10 from midfield. Let's just run the ball. Oh, Rashad White, show off some strength, baby. Nine, maybe 10 yards for Rashad there. Just a quick screen to the outside for Kier Palmer, and Palmer's got space to run. Palmer breaks a tackle. It's a solid pickup for Kier Palmer. Cordero Patterson enters the game once again, and he will take the handoff right up the middle. Cordero Patterson picks up nine. He's got our only touchdown so far in the day, and he is running hard, running strong. Makes it second and one. Rashad White checks in now. And, okay, all right. I, I changed it to inside zone, but, you know, we can't hear, so we can't call audibles. That's so stupid. Some of these, some of these momentum things are so fucking stupid. I didn't even know that was a read option. Here's a quick pass underneath. Rashad White, get the first down. Thank you. God damn it, man. At the very least, we can say we're driving down the field. First and 10 from the 13. Back to pass again. Here is Andy Dalton with a completion to Lawrence Cager. And I feel like a decent amount of different people are catching the ball so far. Um, which is one thing that I wanted to do with this offense is I wanted to get a bunch of different people touching the football. I mean, that's the purpose of signing someone like, uh, okay, nice nice job getting out and blocking, Haynes. You know, I thought you were going to get out. That's why I cut it up, thinking you were going to throw a block or something. Um, they really want me to run slants, huh? Third and four. Let's see what we can do here. Andy Dalton back to pass. Looking for somebody open. Not going to get anyone. He's under pressure. Chris Jones runs right through our offensive lineman. We had absolutely no chance. We'll kick another field goal. I mean, look, we've held the Chiefs out of the end zone already on a few of their drives. I'm not sure how much longer our defense can keep this up. You know, I want to have hope. I want to have faith. But I'm just not sure how much longer they can really keep this up. I hope they can keep it up. We've been playing good so far. There's a nice play by Carlton Davis. As he will knock down the pass and make it second and ten. Our man coverage has gotten better. I can say that much. And definitely say our man coverage has gotten better so far throughout this game. As Mahomes back to pass again, looking for someone deep downfield. That one is knocked away. Christian Fulton. Suddenly our defense looks a lot better. Third down and ten. I really want to send this blitz. I don't. I don't think I should though. Don't think I should. Third and ten. Mahomes back to pass again, looking for somebody open. Has time to throw the football. Eventually throws it away. And the Buccaneers defense with another stop. Well, the nice thing um, is that we're, we're only down by one point. So the entire playbook is still open if we want to use it. And I, I couldn't run straight. It's like I tried to cut to the right. At first. I, I wanted to cut to the right and upfield and then try to juke out the linebacker. It just didn't happen. Um, second and 11 now. And we just need something to get some yards back. And we're going to get yards back and more with Chris Godwin as Godwin picks up the first down. We will absolutely take that. Four catches for 67 yards for Chris Godwin. First and 10 from the 33. Here's another handoff for Rashad White, who picks up just a yard as Justin Reed goes down with an injury for the Chiefs. Yeah, maybe I need to – maybe 20 is too high of an injury slider because, oh, my God, 
everyone is going down. Like I said, it's only at 20. It's not like it's crazy high. Which, um, and if that's what's happening here, then maybe the that's an issue. If 20 is too high of an injury slider, that's an issue. I felt pressure on my back there. I'm not sure if I was right about that or not, but ended up getting away. Third down and nine. Dalton back to pass once again. Gonna go underneath again, and it's just dropped by Russell Gage. We're doing a lot of complaining these first two weeks. Um, you know, that's um, that's fine. We will we will be more positive as the year goes along and better things happen. Um, <laughs> just a handoff for Isaiah Pacheco. He goes nowhere. At least the run defense can say it's doing good. Then again, there haven't been many carries to defend against, so are they really doing good? Uh, yeah, no, they are doing good. There's no doubt about it. They're doing good. But, like I said, not a lot of runs to defend against. Here's a pass deep downfield, knocked away from Sky Moore. Good coverage by a plethora of different Buccaneer defenders. And that'll make it third and nine. We're going to just drop back into a zone again. See what we can do here. Third down and nine. Mahomes back to pass again. Looking for someone open. Under pressure. Kalija can't see. Forces a bad throw by Patrick Mahomes. And the defense makes a blah, blah, forces another three and out. There we go. That's what I'm trying to say. We'll get another look at Tremaine Bonds returning a punt here, and Isaiah Simmons decides to throw a block this time. Tremaine Bonds jump cut to the outside, and Bonds with room to run. Bonds down the sideline across midfield, down at the 47-yard line. Big time return by the rookie. The only thing I wish I could say about Tremaine Bonds is I wish, I wish he had more breakaway speed. He only has 89 speed. First and 10 from the 47. Here's a quick pass to the outside, caught by Cole Keefe, and that is a gain of nine before Keefe gets taken down out of bounds. Make it second down and one. And off goes to Rashad White again, and White, you know, if we don't get bumped on our own guy there, we definitely have more room. But we'll take the first down, solid gain either way. Second down and 10 from the 34. Fake goes to Rashad White. Dalton looking for a man open, rolling to his right, has Godwin on the outside, it's another catch. On the run to Chris Godwin from the Red Rocket. Who would have thought? <laughs> I don't like this play. Can I just change it to an inside zone? Is it going to work this time? Last time it was that play that I couldn't shade from. There we go. Hand off to Rashad White. Oh, I thought we could have jumped that to the outside. I thought we were going to jump that to the outside and get a really, really big play. I once again want to try Kier Palmer on the outside. Second and five from the 13, and we're not going to do that. Throw the ball. It should not take you that long to just throw the ball away. That's all you're doing is throwing it away. Come on now. I mean, I'm, I'm happy we just barely got rid of it, but holy. It should not have been a just barely situation there. Oriel Patterson checks in on third and five. Back to pass is Dalton, and he overthrows Chris Godwin. How do you, how do you overthrow that? How do you overthrow a three-yard route? This just feels like a game where... Our offense is never going to truly figure it out. Our defense is going to play good for most of the game. But, you know, eventually we're going to give up a touchdown or two. Um, and it feels like that's going to happen very soon. There's just no no reason I'm not getting a wrap-up tackle animation there, game. I'm right there hitting the X button. Give me a wrap-up animation, please. My God. A ridiculous touchdown to give up. And another awful throw by Andy Dolan. Oh, my God. I wish Kyle Trask was still on the team. Second down and 10. Pass. Deep down the middle of the field. Caught by Kier Palmer. And Palmer going all the way. 77 yards for his first career touchdown. Kier Palmer. Finds Painter for the first time in his young career. Right down the middle of the field. Nobody was going to catch him. And Andy Dalton, after making a few bad throws, is excited about that one. Trying to take a three-point lead. And you know what? We're going to kill this pass play and run it right up the middle. Rashad White finds some room. And wow, stuff. Wow. You know, I thought we had a one-on-one -on -one there. We'd be able to power through him. But uh, a second defender, I believe it might have been George Karlaftis, just comes through and stuffs us. I mean, good play. 
25 to 24 game. Once again, we are out in front of the Kansas City Chiefs. Could be a, a shocking upset of the week if we're able to keep if we're able to keep it going. Which you know I'm not going to say anything right now. We're not going to we're not going to say any words about it. We are um, just going to keep playing the sport of football and hopefully keep making stops. As Mahomes back to pass again. This one is dropped on the outside by Sky Moore. Wow. And, you know, I'm pretty sure at one point Patrick Mahomes was like 18 of 21 passing. Right now, 19 for 29. So um, it has been a struggle recently here in the second half. This one caught on the outside is caught. One of the few completions recently. And I, you know, I say it's been a struggle. One of his more recent completions was a crazy 60-something yard touchdown that pissed me off. No, I, don't, I don't want to talk about it. I actually made me so mad that that play happened. Hand off to Isaiah Pacheco. I haven't seen a lot of this, especially in the second half. And you know what? Maybe they should because I can't tackle him with anyone at all. That is the end of the third quarter. Buccaneers up 25-24 to 24 over the Chiefs, who literally do nothing but pass the football. Oh, my God. With that being said, I will absolutely be in a cover three here. And if they decide to run it, good for them. They didn't run it. Um, I should have been there. That was just stupid. First down and 10. Chiefs driving just a little bit here. Mahomes back to pass. No, handed off to Isaiah Pacheco. Has nowhere to go. Taken down by Antoine Winfield. Makes it second and 10. That'll make it second and 10. Mahomes back to pass again. Looking for somebody open. Going to the outside. And it is caught but out of bounds. I believe that was Isaiah Pacheco once again. Third and 10 from the 43. Huge play right here. A third down stop. Out of field goal range. Mahomes back to pass. Under pressure by Via Veda. Vita Vea has to throw it away. And I like to think the Chiefs here end up punting it back. No, they're looking like they might go for it. That seems like a bad choice. No, they're going to try to kick a 60-yard field goal, which might even be a worse choice than going for it because there is no way Buckers hitting a 60. Brother hit it with ease. Here's Andy Dalton, fresh off of throwing a touchdown pass to Kier Palmer. First touchdown reception of Kier Palmer's young career. Uh, and it was a big one. 77 yards to the house. Back on offense here. Our first play of this drive is a handoff to Rashad White. He picks up three. Dalton back to pass on second down now. And Dalton looking for somebody. Open. Doesn't have anyone. Uh, ends up throwing it nowhere. Oh, what do we get here on third and seven? Cordero Patterson into the game on third and seven. That's one thing we get. I'm just going to try it deep. I mean, I don't like anything I have. We try uh, Kier Palmer deep. They, uh, nothing ever looks like it's going to be open. Yeah, talk trash to him. Do it. I needed to see. Is anything open? Chris Godwin underneath, no. Cade Otten, maybe. I'm, I'm not trying that throw. He's going right into Nick Bolton, I believe. Is Russell Gage open? Maybe. I'm going to again say no. Uh, just everything's covered, and there's pressure coming. I got to get rid of it. Whatever. All right. 9.39 left in this game. Um, the defense... A little bit of a bend but don't break thing going last time as they, uh, you know, the Chiefs drove down the field but ended up only kicking a field goal. So, you know, if you can do that a few more times. Ooh, man. If Isaiah Simmons or Jamel Dean could have found the football there. Could have potentially had a turnover going our way. Did not happen, though, and instead it's second down and 10. Mahomes back to pass again, looking for somebody open. Has all day to throw the football. Time will, I mean, time wasn't even running out. Mahomes just decided it, it was time to get rid of the ball. I got to say, man, so far I am proud of this defense, but we got to make another play right here. Third down and 10. Mahomes back to pass again, looking for someone open and throws it away once again. Fourth and 10. Buccaneers with another opportunity. Well, we, um... Didn't have a good drive last time. Kiara Palmer is having a day. Best day of his young career so far. Young career. How many times am I going to say that? Can I think of something new? 
Best day of his rookie season so far. Six catches, 137 yards, and a touchdown for Trey Palmer. And Rashad White's going to lose one on this play because, well, can't get the edge. Last time I ran this play, Kier Palmer was supposed to end up going over the middle. Is he going to run the route correctly this time? Is he going to run the route correctly this time? I do not know. It's second and 11. I'm not even going to – I'm actually not even going to wait for it. Because if I wait for it and risk him not running the right route – I think he did. I think I saw it at the last second after throwing the ball. Um, but if I wait for it and he decides not to run the right route again, well, then I'm screwed. And we have this stupid-ass formation with four tight ends. Why does it exist? Third and five. Back to pass. And who is this? Who is this? Luke Goddicky makes a catch. Okay, sure. Well, when you have four tight ends in, I guess your left tackle comes in. What? 7-23 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Dalton back to pass again. Dalton looking for somebody open over the middle of the field. There's Kier Palmer once again down at the 35-yard line. Palmer, seven catches, 154 yards. This is your rookie coming out party, Kier Palmer. It's another first down play right here, fake by Andy Dalton. And he's going to look Kier Palmer's way again, and it's intercepted. Legereus Sneed makes a really good play on the ball. I need to see. He was guarding Kate Otten the whole time, I believe. And uh, just comes off of him and picks off the pass. You know what? Good for him. You know what? Our defense has been doing the damn thing all game. Who says they can't do the damn thing one more time? Probably the Chiefs. But we're going to we're gonna hope that we can do it again. Nice play by Kenneth Murray. Patrick Mahomes in the second half has been hashtag not good. Um, Christian Isian against P Travis Kelsey. No, thank you. Never want to see that. Joe Tryon Shoyinka against Isaiah Pacheco, though. We want to see that. What a play. You know what? I'm trusting it. We're sending a blitz. Let's get some pressure. Third and 11. Mahomes back to pass again. And we're not going to get any pressure because why would we? Why would we ever get pressure? Oh, the ball comes loose. Scooped up by Christian Fulton. As of right now, it is Buccaneer football. Not sure if Rasheed Rice was already down. We will see a replay. I have no idea from that angle. Does not help me at all. This angle not going to help either as it's pretty much the same exact angle. As of right now, the Buccaneers have the ball. And there's no review or anything at the moment. No challenge flag. Hand off to Rashad Wright. And the Buccaneers do get the turnover. We lose a yard to start this possession since I was trying so quickly to get a playoff. So that stinks a lot. And I, I, we're, we're back to the point where I, I can't call an audible. Please. Thank you. Quick pass to the outside for Cordero Patterson. Tried to make a man miss, but picks up seven. Third down and four. Back to pass once again. And look who's wide open. Who else but Kier Palmer. And Palmer makes a man miss. Throws a stiff arm up the sideline. What a big time play. 18 more yards. And he's nearing 200 yards on the day. Eight receptions, 172 yards. Look, we knew, we knew when we picked up Kier Palmer that he could be an absolute game changer. Who would have thought he would do things like this? First and 10 from the 34, handoff to Rashad White. And uh, it's been a bit of a struggle here these last couple of drives running the football. You know, now that I think about it, we don't have to do much more. We do not have to do much more. Second down and eight. We just need a couple decent runs for Rashad, and we, we can't get a push on the line of scrimmage, though. We're going to play this safe, I think, because we have right now we have the lead. Right now, if we do not get a first down, we have the lead, so we'll throw this out to the outside for Cordero Patterson, who actually breaks it. Oh, fourth and one. No, I got to go for it. I got, that just changes everything. Now I have to go for it. Two minutes remaining in this one. 25 to 27. And with two minutes left in the game, we can get a first down 
make them use all their timeouts and then kick a field goal. We're going to go for it. Rashad White up the middle, handoff. He's got the first and a couple more. And they're not going to use any timeouts, are they? They're just going to hope that we miss. They're going to wait, ice us, and hope that we miss. Wow, that is a bold strategy by the Chiefs. But you know what? I respect it. I respect the hell out of it. We're going to run this clock all the way down and get a few more handoffs for Rashad White. Handoff going to go to Rashad White once again. Looking for the edge this time. And we might have it. No, just don't go out of bounds. Okay, staying in bounds. It's a gain of four. And the Chiefs do use a timeout here. And you know what? This could be a crazy play. Second down and six. Quick pass to the outside for Chris Godwin. Godwin gets a block from Russell Gage. Chris Godwin down to the one-yard line. You know, the Chiefs might want us to score a touchdown now that I think about it. We need to get stopped at least once just so we make them use that last timeout. And we will get stopped at least once. Now they got to use that last timeout. And I think I'm going to kneel it. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be I, – you know, I got to wait till I kick the field goal before anything, before anything at all. Timeout taken with two seconds remaining here in the fourth quarter. Chase McLaughlin takes the field. They have no timeouts left. They cannot ice us. McLaughlin's kick is up. And it is right down the middle. The Buccaneers take down the Kansas City Chiefs here in week two. 28 to 27. The defense stood tall in the second half against Patrick Mahomes. Andy Reid is distraught. Zach Wilson is happy. This team was led by Andy Dalton for part of the first half and the entire second half. And we were able to pull out a win. Let's go take a look at the stats. Look, we were not great. We were not perfect whatsoever. 27 for 49 overall passing. Andy Dalton, 19 for 33, a touchdown and an interception. Running the football, Rashad White was very serviceable. And Cordero Patterson got a few carries as well. And he actually scored a touchdown. Receiving the ball, Kier Palmer had his rookie coming out party. Eight catches, 172 yards. One touchdown, and we really spread the ball out a lot this game. And this is what I wanted to do with this team. This is why I picked up a Cordero Patterson, why I picked up a Lawrence Cager. Because, you know, even though they're not going to go crazy, they're not going to do anything insane with the football most of the time, if we're able to have more options to throw the ball to, more playmakers, we're going to have a better offense. That's just obvious. Um, defensively, we were so, so good. Two sacks on Patrick Mahomes. I wish this game kept track of pressures because we had a ton of pressures. No INTs, a few tackles for loss. What a game. And after that, Kier Palmer with an upgrade. And I think we should be working on most of his route running. Um, but I want him to keep getting better after the catch. I know I said that last time. And we've upgraded this twice now. And both times his overall state of 82, which stinks. I didn't even actually look at what just happened there. Uh, looks like we had a medium route upgrade, a deep route upgrade by one. Um, Juke move went up 2 to 85, so that's actually awesome. He also has a 78 stiff arm. His after the catch ability is really, really, really solid. That is going to do it for me in week three. We have another divisional matchup. This time, we will be taking on the New Orleans Saints. Guys, what a game. We are 1-1. One one. A complete turnaround after that awful, awful showing against the Panthers, who it looks like we'll play again in week four. But we're not going to think about them yet. If you like this content, if you think I'm cool, drop a like, comment, subscribe, all of that, blah, 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 blah. Peace.